Good morning, everyone. Distinguished guests, graduates, important day for you, and your super supportive family and friends. As chairman of the University of Brighton, it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to this first of our graduation ceremonies uh, for this summer. Well done. I hope you have a great morning and that you really celebrate your success. So without any further ado, I'm delighted to ask our distinguished Vice-Chancellor, Professor Deborah Humphreys, to address you. Chair, distinguished guests, Friends, families, supporters, and above all, graduates. Wow, look at you, amazing. It gives me a huge pleasure to welcome you to today's graduation ceremony. Graduates, today is your day. It's a day to celebrate your achievements. A day to reflect on the values of the friendships that you've formed while you've been at the University of Brighton. To reflect on a phase of your journey that is ending and a day to look forward with anticipation to the opportunities that lie ahead. Graduation ceremonies are the high point of the academic year, bringing together as they do the whole university with your friends, your families, your supporters, um, here to celebrate your achievements. We're also joined this morning by representatives of the civic authorities and our education partners, as well as our honorary graduate. You're all very welcome, and I must say we value and continue to value the support that you provide us. Graduates, today you have every right to celebrate. We know how hard you have worked and you know how hard we have challenged you to be your best. So today marks the culmination of those efforts. At the moment when you cross the stage and we shake hands, acknowledge each other, high five, hug if you feel the need, you will become graduates of the University of Brighton. And as you do so, I hope you will feel as proud of us as we do of every single one of you. Over the course of the ceremonies we will hold this week, we will celebrate graduates aged 19 to 79 and from 90 countries across the globe. The university is rightly proud of the diversity of nationalities that we educate and long may it remain so. Graduates, we have with us also today some incredibly important people. On behalf of the entire university, I'd like to thank your friends, family, supporters, carers, lovers, partners, who have been there for you in so many ways during your time with us. We also have on stage in the and in the auditorium behind the scenes and back at the university campuses, a hugely talented and dedicated academic and professional staff of the university who have all, in many ways, played a role in supporting you throughout your time at university. So, before I ask you to stand, graduates, and show your appreciation for everything that those people have done for you, I just want you to note that I'm going to be keeping a vice-chancellor log of the loudest, most robust celebration across the week. So, please, stand, graduates and say give a the University of Brighton thank you to your supporters and the staff of the university. Thank you. Okay, so you've set the benchmark for the week then. 
As a university, we are committed to realising potential and shaping futures for the better. And they're immensely proud of the continuing achievement of our students, our graduates, and our alumni. You heard in the introductory film, and you can read in the ceremony brochure, some of the achievements of our incredible alumni. And I really look forward in years ahead to having you feature in both the brochure and the film. Each and every one, for each and every one of you today, it marks a significant personal milestone. And as you celebrate, can I ask you to reflect on the fact that none of us ever stop learning? So please carry with you all the experience you've gained here at the University of Brighton as you continue your career, wherever that takes you. But keep in touch with us. Today marks more, not so much an end, more of a beginning, as we look to you, graduands, to shape the future. As you do so, you will be members of an alumni network that provides lifelong links to your fellow graduates and to the alumni that have gone before you. We have a network of over 150,000 alumni, many of whom are in careers and pathways that you seek. They're there to support you. They will willingly reach across and support you. They are a global network. So it provides advice, connections, and in years to come, you can reach across and help students who will follow you. So please, keep in contact. Visit the alumni team in the, uh, in the, in the hall. Make sure you collect your alumni pin. And let us have your email so that we can keep in touch with you in the future and tell you about the continuing brilliant story of the University of Brighton. It's in a time, in the time you've been at university, much has changed at the world, in the world, not least politically. It's certainly no understatement to say that we're living in a period of challenges and uncertainties. But there are also a world of possibilities and opportunities. In such a world, the ability to combine knowledge and practice, together with the qualities of creativity, resilience, adaptability, humanity and energy are becoming ever more important. And I know those to be the characteristics of you, graduands. We will continue to play our part as a university, ensuring our education, our research, our enterprise, our partnerships come together to allow our students to gain that practical wisdom that they need to thrive as they move forward in their life. Graduands, yours is the future. We look to you to make a positive difference. In doing so, I ask you to bear in mind a caution. In the words of a writer, Richard Bark, who suggested that, argue for your limitations and sure enough they're yours. I look to you as Brighton graduates to be bold, to argue for your possibilities, to argue for your potential, to grasp opportunities, to shape the future. Our joy and pride will be in watching you do that. Finally, can I thank you for making the University of Brighton your university? You have all made a mark and contributed to making us who we are in the time that you've been here. You've built memories, friendships that will last a lifetime. I hope you will carry those memories of us with you on your journey and make a unique contribution to the world going forward. Thank you. We're now going to begin the presentation of awards. Graduands, you will be called row by row and escorted to the entrance of the stage. Please, whatever you do, please stay in order because it all works as long as you stay in order. Otherwise, it all goes horribly wrong at the edges. Um, you'll have noticed there's a big screen on the stage as well. And in the moment, that, that image will change, thankfully, from me to you. So please grasp that moment as you cross the stage. And think carefully about 
your exit and entrance from the stage in terms of any stairs and your footwear. And there is a certificate at the end to collect. Please don't leave it with us. We will find you, but it would be far better that you remember to take it with you. Uh, so I now invite Dr. Paddy Maguire, the head of the School of Humanities, to announce the awards for the school. School of Humanities, degree of Master of Arts, Gillian Balfour. <laughs> Elizabeth Eastwood. <laughs> Jed Novick. Teaching English to speakers of other languages, Abdullah Adayani. <laughs> Diploma, teaching English to speakers of other languages, Silvana Nibelis. <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, English Language, Millie Chamberlain. Lola Sofek. <laughs> Ryan Ellis. <laughs> Emma Fitton. <laughs> Charlie Gutzel. Oh, Rachel Head. <laughs> Holly Marling. <laughs> ben Mehmed. <laughs> Amy Narke. Leanne and Pugh. <laughs> Emily Robb. <laughs> Alexander Scholes. <laughs> Jordan Veglio. Anna Walker, <laughs> Holly Wolf, <laughs> Alex Wright, <laughs> English Language and English Literature, Sharon Astuti. Joshua Barmer. <laughs> Kirsten Burke. <laughs> Patricia Shader Farume. <laughs> Bethany Corder. Natasha Gordon. <laughs> Rosie Hayington. <laughs> Lauren Kelman. <laughs> Ruth 
Paris Kitson. Rachel Locke. Francois Maljet. Joanna Marcus da Silva. Eleanor Mayo. Ellen McGinty. <laughs> Melissa Methvin. <laughs> Phoebe Mulfanny Howell. <laughs> Sotri Arnonu. Robin Nightingale, also awarded the David Thomas Filmmakers Award, Charlie O'Connor. <laughs> Olivia Parker, <laughs> Liam Pledger. Elna Pine. <laughs> Sherilyn Roberts. <laughs> Sarah Maria Salonin. <laughs> Kate Scott. Yasmin Saini Faskaran. <laughs> Abby Starkey. <laughs> Kieran Sang. <laughs> Hannah Ward. Lauren Woodward. English Language and Linguistics, Matthew Austin. Jessica Ball. Katie Collins. Lennon Craig. <laughs> Eve Davy. <laughs> Jemima Ellis. <laughs> Sermon Erdin. Amy Harding. Maxine Harrison. Lauren Jefferson. Sophia Calamath. Alice Leader. <laughs> Lucy Newton. <laughs> Sean Panchel. <laughs> James Chantali. Matthew Simmons. Yeah. 
Recitare. Sarah Turpin. English Language and Media, Jessica Cox. <laughs> Katrina Donnelly. <laughs> Essen Almas. <laughs> Jamie Griffin. Holly Guns. Woo! William McFarlane. Woo! <laughs> Marcus Markovic. <laughs> Leah Marsland. Natalie Miller. <laughs> Amy Muckridge. <laughs> Scarlett Newton. <laughs> Taylor Roxbury. Eve May Padmore. Woo! Ellie Reynolds. Woo! Jody Simpson. Woo! English Literature. Constantine Amy Garda. Kim Ayling. <laughs> Carmen Bellet. <laughs> Charlotte Black. <laughs> Anna Booth. Caitlin Bruce. <laughs> Louise Ball. <laughs> Eva Butler. <laughs> Katie Clafferty. Thomas Cool, <laughs> Amber Crofts, <laughs> Beth Davis, <laughs> Matthew Davis. Benedict Delfu. <laughs> Luke Ellis. <laughs> Poppy Everton. <laughs> Molly Farnham. Rebecca Forsyth. <laughs> Carl Gathern. <laughs> Robin Gibson. <laughs> Megan Green. Elna Hallam. Woo! 
Lucy Hamilton. <laughs> Josie Hopwood. <laughs> Isla Jagan. <laughs> Shannon Johnson. Elizabeth Kellingley. <laughs> Flair Jones. <laughs> Sean Kelly. <laughs> Tiffany Constanti. Aoife Lodge. <laughs> Chloe Murphy. <laughs> Christian Musgrave. <laughs> Isling O'Driscoll. Cameron Pacey. Dennis Parks. Alana Parsons. Louise Querick. Iram Qureshi. Arashi Raman. Kelly Rich. Ellie Russell. Sophia Sartori. <laughs> Benjamin Say. <laughs> Hannah Sinclair. <laughs> Hannah Smith. Sarah Sones. <laughs> Rebecca Squelch. <laughs> Callum Sullivan. <laughs> Hannah Taylor. Olimba Temple Smith. <laughs> Olivia Williams. <clears throat> Fashion and dress history, Isabella Anscombe. <laughs> Jade Bailey Dowling. Charlotte Brown. <laughs> Isabel Dan. <laughs> Eve Fitman. <laughs> Ruby Helms. Alina Ivanov. (laughs) 
Emma Kelly. Globalisation, history, politics, culture, Ellen Baker. Rebecca Bromley Derry. Anuja Chuan. Talia Constance Clark. Savina Florova. Also awarded the Governor's Prize, Ruby Gahan. <laughs> Lawrence Guzé. Samuel Griffin. Daniel Heaven. Maureen Carbo. <laughs> Tasmir Khan. <laughs> Luke Marsh. <laughs> Ella Memon. Carlos Munoz Rojas. Caitlin Pierce. Louise Preston Pratt. Sean Price. Jade Reynolds. Stuart Sode. Benton Sudo. Rory Talbot. Joshua Whittam. <laughs> Elna Wilson. <laughs> History of Art and Design, Rachel Blythe. <laughs> Melissa Capon. Kuriaka Haralambus. <laughs> Emily Clark. <laughs> Grace Collins. <laughs> Inez Gill. Eliza Uberty. <laughs> Sophia Martineau. <laughs> Lily Reevy Corker. <laughs> Jessica Stanhope. History of Decorative Arts and Crafts, Yasmin Dunning. <laughs> Lindsay Marr. <laughs> History of Design, Charlotte Brown.
History, Literature and Culture, Ellen Ball. Emma Ferenc Bachelor. Lizzie Francis. Chloe Mugwangi. <laughs> Alex Singh. <laughs> Matthew Willicombe. <laughs> Humanities. Martha Blythe. Jamie Gilbert. Gemma Hespin. Mark Jubb. Charlie Knights. Nilalja Manja. <laughs> Leila Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Alan Ashe. <laughs> Dylan Pycroft. Kate Sally. Benjamin Spill. Christopher Tooley. Humanities, War, Conflict and Modernity. Amiata Algali. Alan Bateman. <laughs> Callum Bridges. <laughs> Nicola Kapner. <laughs> Christopher Dash. Ross Gellington. <coughs> Lawson Ford. Samuel Garner. A Benedict Gagan. Callum Hickey. Yeah. Kinza Kuhan. Yeah. Salah Malik. Yeah. Harry Mellowish. Yasmin Nagarpo. <laughs> Scott Newton. <laughs> Louise Porter. <laughs> Jesse Potter. <laughs> Robin Stewart. Joel Thomas. <laughs> Kira Timoney.
Beth and Verley. Alexander Wood. Linguistics, Louis Cornell. Media and English Literature, George Amodo. Elena Cambridge. <laughs> Natasha Clegg. <laughs> Lydia Davis. <laughs> Patrick Humphreys. <laughs> Robin McKenzie. Molly Pennells. <laughs> Joseph Shayshot. <laughs> Andrea Slamkova. <laughs> Alice Stevens. Yeah. Joanne Swan. <laughs> Ellie to Road. <laughs> Hannah Twardowski. <laughs> Catherine Van Marnen. Museum and Heritage Studies, Laurie Dighton. <laughs> Lindsay Lawrence. <laughs> Elna Newton. <laughs> Kitty Pert. Kane Preston. <laughs> Philosophy, politics, ethics. Fabiola Camilla Hislop. <laughs> Libby Chalkley. <laughs> Imogen Clark. Ricardo Davis. <laughs> Nikita De Silva. <laughs> Lone Elliott. <laughs> Rosemary Elliott. Brianna Fell. <laughs> Sam Friedman. <laughs> Francesca Fulmini. <laughs> Joshua Gilbert. <laughs> Elna Gillett. Eve Hellowell. <laughs> Sabrina Cater. <laughs> 
Samuel Clemmer. <laughs> Joseph Kelly Osho. <laughs> Amali Bassani. <laughs> Thor Motley. Stuart Mark Berkela. Christopher O'Brien. Bonnie Lowe. Samuel Lua Nimitz. Emily Wycroft. <laughs> Oliver Sargent. <laughs> Ross Sparks. <laughs> Simon Steppen. Yuna Shupunia. <laughs> Georgina Thompson. <laughs> Guy Thompson. Adam Turton. All right. <laughs> Georgina Wood. <laughs> Joseph Woodcock. <laughs> Samuel Yardley. Visual Culture, Raphael Cummins, <laughs> Emily Lunt, <laughs> Ellen Shaw, The posthumous award of Diploma of Higher Education in English Literature is awarded to Michael Turnbull, who sadly passed away in March 2017. His award... His award is being collected on behalf of his family by his brother and sister. The posthumous award of Certificate of Higher Education in English Language and Linguistics is awarded to Maria Fernanda Jimenez Montero, who sadly passed away in March 2017.
Her award, her award is being collected on behalf of her family by Dr Emma Bell, the course leader. That concludes the presentation for the School of Humanities. Thank you everyone for your support, particularly on those last two presentations. We now move to the presentation of our honorary graduate. May I now invite Professor Robert Mull, head of the School of Architecture and Design, to present Fox Fisher. Chair, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, graduates, families, and friends, it is my honor to introduce Fox Fisher. When the university considers awarding honorary degrees, it seeks individuals who have not only pushed the boundaries of their field for the benefits of society as a whole, but who also reflect the values that are important to us at Brighton University. Creativity, sustainability, partnership, inclusivity, and sheer bravery. Today, we seek to honor such an individual. Fox Fisher is an award-winning artist, filmmaker, and human rights activist. And I'm also pleased to say an alumnus of this university, having graduated with an MA in sequ sequential design and illustration in 2015. After taking part in Channel 4's My Transsexual Summer in 2011, Fox co-curated the My Generation project. This project records the experiences and perspectives of all those who do not identify with the agendas assigned to them at birth. So far, over 60 short films have been produced and shown in schools, universities, and film festivals, endorsed by the BBC as well as Channel 4. Fox is advisor to the All About Trans, an on-road project facilitating interactions with the mainstream media, including the BBC, Daily Mail, The Sun, The Observer, to discuss the representation of trans people in the media. As a campaigner, Fox has made many media appearances, including on ITV's This Morning and the BBC Inside Out. Fox also plays the character Jake in BBC 4's Tales of the City, and stars as Blake in the web-based series as we are. Away from the media, Fox is a patron for LGBT Switchboard, co-curator and trustee of Trans Pride Brighton, and has worked closely with Transgender Europe, the international LGBT youth organization, and Stonewall. In the realm of art, Fox has a passion for screen printing and produces one-off works for sale through Art Republic, Saatchi, and the Brush Gallery, and has spoken and screen printed live at Tate Modern and the VNA, merging the topics of gender and art. Fox has also just completed a documentary about being non binary in the UK entitled Fox and Owl Can't Get Married. It's currently working with NHS England to help train 8,000 staff in a pilot scheme and is working on a new book, The Trans Teen Survival Guide. Speaking movingly in an interview earlier this year on publishing a letter to his 10-year-old self, Fox said, When I was growing up, there was no visibility for trans people, and I had no one to look up to. I didn't know of anyone who was trans, and I think its representative and visibility had been at the same point as it is now. I would have come out much sooner and saved myself from years of self-hate and depression. Thankfully, today things have taken a huge shift and trans people are able to come out sooner and live as their true selves. Fox 
Fox's outstanding personal contribution impact in raising the visibility and representation of trans people has not gone unnoticed, resulting in a nomination as one of the top 10 outstanding contributors to LGBT plus life at this year's British LGBT Awards. Therefore, it gives me the great pleasure that we can today add to our, our university's recognition to Fox's growing achievements. So Chair, Vice-Chancellor, in recogni recognition of their major contribution to raising the profile, both nationally and internationally, of issues affecting trans people and the promotion of arts and media, it is my honor to present Fox Fisher to the honorary degree of Doctor of Arts of the University of Brighton. So, Fox Fisher, may I just formally confer upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Arts of the University of Brighton. Well done. Congratulations. Fantastic. A wonderful achievement. I hope you go on to achieve a lot, lot more. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, just to listen to Thank you, everyone. Uh, I know you want to hear from Fox, so I now have much pleasure in asking Fox to address you all. Gosh, how emotional. <laughs> Chairman, Vice Chancellor, distinguished, guest, uh, distinguished guests, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and those who identify beyond the binary, thank you for this honor. Now, if someone had told me 10 years ago that I would be one day awarded a doctorate, I would have been really, really shocked. <laughs> because 10 years ago, and it wasn't 2015, it was actually uh, 10 years ago that I finished my MA in sequential design and illustration at Grand Parade. And I was still trying to find myself. After working at the British Consulate in America in business development, I returned home, feeling that I wanted to be more creative, feeling quite lost in my life. And I went for an interview for a change of direction for a creative MA. And on the day that I returned back to the UK, I lost someone very, very close to me. And that winter was a very, very dark one where I grieved the loss of my friend. And in the new year, I did medical testing to pay for my masters. It was really important for me to return to education, to sidestep into something creative. And I never thought that I'd be so heavily involved in filmmaking but it was my short films and not my graphics that got me a place on the course. I was unusually withdrawn at school, and you can think I'm bragging now, but uh, I won the Art and English Award for every year of my secondary school education. Eventually, I was told that I needed to pick something and stick to it, and I thought, well, words are the most important form of expression, and then this drifted onto graphic design, illustration, screen printing, and later on filmmaking. My passion for screen printing started at the University of Brighton after completing my MA. I was in the midst of an abusive relationship and I was at an all-time low for my self-esteem. I enrolled on an adult education course for printmaking and I fell in love with the process. Jane Sampson taught me how to screen print and has been, through with, has been with me through thick and thin. She can't be here today, sadly, but she is a member, a faculty member at the University of Brighton. I would like to thank Jane for her work at the University of Brighton and for her studio, Inkspot Press, where she can, continues to employ me and support me and continue to do that throughout my medical transition. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I don't know if anyone's got a tissue. <laughs> uh, a lot has happened for trans people in the past few years. And for those who don't know, I'm a non-binary trans person. 
and I was assigned female at birth. In 2011, I was thrust into the public light when I came out on a mainstream documentary called My Transsexual Summer. This documentary, in most ways, would look quite dated now, and during the show, I was told that I needed to simplify my experiences and tell everyone that I was just a trans man, not non-binary. I also felt that in order to get access to healthcare, I needed to yet again simplify my experience. For those who don't know what being non-binary is, it means that my gender, my gender identity falls outside the binary of simply being a man or a woman. It's not a lack of an identity or gender, and it's not there to threaten anyone who identifies as a man or a woman either. Uh, it's a very strong sense of self, and I experience my gender in a very different way. In the past few years, I've had to constantly defend this identity. And very recently, I, I was on Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan. My partner, Al, and I uh, were questioned about our identities, and we had to debate this with him. It turned a, a four-minute segment into a 15-minute feature, and uh, for that, I'm very grateful, actually. It's important to note that non-binary people have always existed, and they do so in cultures all around the world. Non-binary people are even legally recognized in countries such as New Zealand, Australia, Malta, India, and Nepal. While a lot has happened for trans people for the past few years, I feel that, it, that we're still struggling with some of the same issues. Trans people's identities aren't respected as much as they should be, and we constantly have to prove, explain, and justify our experience. We're constantly being put down, humiliated, and a lot of trans people experience stigma, discrimination, and even violence. Recent reports show that 48% of trans youth have considered or attempted to take their own lives. It's almost one in two. But a lot has changed since I was on my transsexual summer five or six years ago, and we're often advancing and making progress, and sometimes it just does feel quite slow, and the world seems quite unjust. I hope that in the future that trans people will be respected and recognized for who they are. I hope that non-binary people will receive legal and social recognition, that's the X on the passport, and the right to marry as well. I want us all to celebrate, I want us all to be celebrated for being who we are. I want, and I want there to be a day when no one has to justify their experience or debate it with anyone, because our identities are not up for debate and they never should be. An acknowledgement of this kind really, really helps me to feel that I'm on the right path, and I'm very, very honored to accept it. It's such a surprise. It speaks volumes when it comes down to trans awareness, and it's wonderful to have that acknowledgement, not only for myself, but for trans people. On another note, I meet with a very secretive trans man who's in the process of documenting his life by writing in a notebook about his experiences. It's been his therapy, bringing up a lot of painful experiences and episodes in his life. He's now 70 and in extremely poor health. He shares with me words, and he, wrote, he writes about being a young teenager. When he was 14, he came out to his granddad as trans. His mum had just died, and his granddad did not take it very well at all, and he was placed into a mental hospital up until his 16th birthday, when he checked himself out. This was in the north of England in the 1960s, and I will end my speech with a poem that he wrote about that time in his life. I can only be this, and I cannot be that. It's just the way I am. I can only think thoughts that are only me, for it's me and all that I am. You can lock me up after wiring my head and say words that I don't understand. Strip off my clothes, but I don't care, for I'm me and all that I am. It's no big deal to call me names and drug me because you can. For me, for I know one day I'll leave this place to be me and all that I am. And when the time comes when I leave this world, I will leave it as a man. I will close my eyes knowing in the end, I was me and all that I am. Thank you so much, thank you.
Thank you, Fox. Uh, extremely moving. You deserve all the applause that you've received. And frankly, personally, I applaud your immense bravery. I now invite Professor Robert Mull, head of the School of Architecture and Design, to present the awards for that school. We just need some students. <laughs> Um, the awards for the School of Architecture and Design, Degree of Master of Arts, Architecture and Urban Design, Nabil Ebrahim Kail. <laughs> Akhem El Athram. <laughs> Interior Design. Zena Abumash. Sarah Al Ramai. Lela Baye. Garda Bushaga. Vinkung Cheng. Atef Abhimgil. Jenny Wu. Ching Yan Chin. Ying Xian Li. <laughs> Miyoki Lu. <laughs> Julia Tedesco. <laughs> Miao Yu Yuan. Sitong John. Andy Jung. Master of Arts of Architecture, Anna Sel Shakli. Oh. No. Jointly awarded the Perkins and Wills Thesis Prize, Ningan. <laughs> Elena Athianiniti. <laughs> also jointly awarded the RIBA Southeast Prize, Louise Fisher. Kami Chestosan. <laughs> Duncan Law.
Wei Shun Li. Brian Lindo. Noor Jehan Binti Noor Hisum. <laughs> Jennifer Otitotolu. Also awarded the Make Award for Excellence in Architecture, Peter Roper. Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Architecture, Belen Abebe. <laughs> Narmeen Adnam Khan. <laughs> Alu Aluato Mesin Akin Yeme. Also jointly awarded the RIBA Southeast Prize, Mario Montero. <laughs> Rafaela Aristodimo. <laughs> also awarded the Latham's Innovation in Timber Award, Chantal Barnes. Balsan Besanbavia. <laughs> Satwant Benipal. <laughs> Noor Binti Lockman. <laughs> Carol Bichet. Neguin Bumandin. <laughs> Matthew Bradshaw. <laughs> Anessa Karna. <laughs> Ke Wen Chi. Wojciech Chosezpa. <laughs> Petros Christou. <laughs> Dane Coley. <laughs> Rebecca Day. Joel Arabu. Also jointly awarded the Morgan Khan Prize for Design Excellence in Architecture, Gary Fung. Cheyenne Gamuri. Andrea Gomez. <laughs> Alicia Gould. <laughs> Lisa Gronovic. <laughs> Tree Ha. Harry Hayes. Woo! 
Eugene Kandinsky. Leo Kopferschmidt. Chun Lao. Zachary McPherson. <laughs> Elena Vidal. <laughs> Ellen McCulloch. Jason Molina. <laughs> Elena Moranti Didi. <laughs> Benjamin Monday. <laughs> Naran Dulam. Munkchagal. <laughs> Dilara Muzagalinieva. <laughs> Ariana Nubakash. Elodie Nunn. <laughs> Evgenia Papa Eakevo. <laughs> Hannah Pinsett. <laughs> Tanya Rosa. Mariam Same. <laughs> Oliver Shadforth. <laughs> Luke Squires. <laughs> Shanna Taylor. Berfin Tell. <laughs> Olivia, Oliver Teo. <laughs> Elizabeth Terry. <laughs> Kevin Tipchu. Arvin Tora Itich. <laughs> Natalie Tayaba. <laughs> Kutluhan Unalia. Yan Frey Yin. <laughs> Cha Yuan. <laughs> Interior Architecture. Yasmin Al Abdullah. <laughs> Bishoy Anu.
Zuzan Doan. <laughs> also jointly awarded the Perkins and Will Thesis Prize, Gabriella Isson. <laughs> Aloud Hano. Shu Ting Ho. <laughs> Jessica Hunt. <laughs> Sean Jones. <laughs> Alexander Kabazi. Serene Ko. <laughs> Susanna Kielech. <laughs> and S. Ko. Also awarded the Seoul National University Student Prize, Alicia Kivyatkovska. <laughs> Mark Kipri, <laughs> Angel Maddox, <laughs> Elliot Marshall, <laughs> Benjamin Merry. Sotirula Muis. <laughs> Jermaine Palmer. <laughs> Siu Ying Puk. <laughs> Pratishwathwa Rout. Aaron Reynolds. <laughs> Wing Yi Si. <laughs> Yuk To. Also jointly awarded the Morgan Cairn Prize for Design Excellence, Interior Architecture, Julia Tisser. <laughs> Wung Chai Wang. <laughs> Lauren Willis. Chong Zhang. <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Product Design, George Canarin. <laughs> Product Design with Professional Experience, Cameron Bacchus de Lacy. Megan Brown.
Matthew Burrows. <laughs> Elliot Canning. <laughs> Lily Colgan. <laughs> Alex Druitt. Natalia Fedeyeva, <laughs> Anthony Henry, <laughs> Samuel Hinkinson, <laughs> David Howlett. Grace King. <laughs> Imogen Lawrence. <laughs> Isabel McInnes. Ross Murphy. <laughs> Thales Nicolau. <laughs> Andrea Ruiz de Elenshun. <laughs> Jessica Schweitzer. Lucy Simpson. <laughs> Paige Taylor. <laughs> Khalil Tester. Drew Williams Hicks. <laughs> Joshua Wright. <laughs> Product design technology with professional experience, Benjamin Holness. Benjamin LeBrock. <laughs> Oliver Little. <laughs> Angeliki Macri. Stephen Missa. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas Porter. Sports product design with professional experience, Sophie Cash. Edward Dennis. Also awarded the Institute of Engineering Designer Outstanding Student Prize, Adam Joshi. Chelsea Reeves.
Sustainable Product Design with Professional Experience, Maha Gidwani. <laughs> Finley Thorburn. Degree of Master of Arts, Interior Design, Mazreen Mystery. <laughs> Degree of Master of Architecture, Kosuke Ino. <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Interior Architecture, Inesco. School of Humanities, Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, English Literature, Billy Lannan. <laughs> Humanities, Polina Stoyanova. <laughs> that concludes the presentations for the School of Architecture and Design and for the School of Humanities. I now call upon Professor Neil Ravenscroft to present the awards for the Brighton Doctoral College. Vice Chancellor. <coughs> School of Architecture and Design, degree of Doctor of Philosophy, in rec recognition of a program of work entitled In the Making, an Interdisciplinary Revision of the Concept of Skewermorph for Material Practice. Kimberly Chandler. <laughs> Degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled The Dark Mirror, Engaging Multiple Temporalities Through Drawing, Samantha Lynch. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentations of research degrees and the presentations for this ceremony. Thank you. Well, we've had a lot of hugging going on this morning, but it's now my duty to draw it all to a close uh, and this ceremony. I would like to do so by drawing on the words of the great writer and humorist A.A. A. Mill and the creator of the most famous animal in Sussex, Pooh Bear. A.A. Mill offers many words of wisdom, including the following. The things that make me different are the things that make me. Sound advice for you all to remember as you embark on the next stage of your journey. I'd like to use another A.A. Mill quote with his friend Pooh Bear. It is more fun to talk with someone who doesn't use long, difficult words, but rather short, easy words like, what about a drink? <laughs> I'm dying for one. <laughs> on behalf of us all, I congratulate you on your achievements and invite you to a celebratory drink in our alumni and guest lounge in the Hewison Hall, which is directly behind this auditorium. 
But first, may I ask you to please stand whilst the platform party leaves the hall. Thank you all, well done, and good luck. <laughs>